Information and guidance on the use of the Biome 4 Wide Field Observation System for posterior eye surgery. Open the steam autoclaved sterilization container and take out the sterilization tray. Now you see all the components of a complete Biome 4C set. The biome will now be set up for use in a surgical procedure. The components are assembled on a sterile drape. Here you see the biome 4C with its corresponding adapter. For assembly, take the biome and mount the adapter onto the corresponding plug part of the biome. Then attach the reduction lens to the biome with a quick-release fastener. Folding the adapter towards the biome reduces the instrument's dimensions and makes it easier to install on the operating microscope. Turn the focus adjustment wheel on the biome until the bridge reaches the upper end of its travel. Slip the drive belt for powered focus adjustment over the drive wheel and the two guide rollers. Take an appropriate front lens and insert it into the lens holder at the bottom end of the biome. Now the biome is fully assembled and ready for use. A safety check must be performed before every use. This includes checking that the lens holder runs smoothly. Then swing out the adapter by 90 degrees. Also check its return travel. To enable powered control, Plug the cable plug into one of the couplers on the SDI-4C housing. Here you see a close-up of how the front lens is assembled and the lens holder is checked for smooth movement. This is the sterile, fully mounted Biome 4C on the operating microscope. This Biome version allows powered focus adjustment. A view through the operating microscope. Now you see the front lens swing into position and the image put into focus with the biome focus adjustment wheel. This promptly gives a sharp image of the fundus. You watch now the procedure for peripheral vitreous removal. The front lens used here gives a field of view of the fundus of approximately 120 degrees. This operation was performed using a high-resolution lens. These high-resolution optics are particularly well suited for high microscope magnification.
A very good view of the posterior pole with ample clearance between the lens and cornea. Thanks to the use of a multiport illumination system, or MIS for short, the surgeon can use both his hands. To use the powered control of the Biome 4C and the electrical inverter function of the SDI 4C, the cable for connecting the foot switch to the SDI must be installed. Some microscopes provide the option of powered control via the microscope foot switch. For manual focus adjustment, turn the focus adjustment wheel on the Biome 4M. In this way, the distance between the lens and the microscope objective can be changed until the image of the biome is in focus. Once the image is sharp, the fine focus function of the microscope works like an aperture. It's used to change only the field of view. Here you can watch the powered version Biome 4C in operation. After surgery, the Biome has to be dismounted and prepared for storage. Here you see the Biome 4C system being dismounted after an operation. Pulling on the cable sleeve unlocks the plug, which can then be easily disconnected. After releasing the knurled screw located on the side, the Biome 4C system is completely removed from the dovetail mount. During disassembly, the Biome components are placed on a table for further disassembly prior to cleaning and disinfection. For disassembling the Biome, do the following. Swing out the adapter by 90 degrees and then remove it from the biome. Place the adapter plate on the sterilization tray as indicated by the lasered in instructions. Release the reduction lens by turning it counterclockwise in the lens holder. Place the lens on its designated mount on the sterilization tray. Draw the biome wide field front lens forward off the lens holder and place it on one of the mounts of the sterilization tray. Pull the drive belt off the guide rollers of the biome and place it on its mount on the sterile insert. For putting the biome into the sterilization container, first reduce its length by turning the focus adjustment wheel so that the instrument fits onto its mount on the sterile insert. Then place the drive cable in its designated holders so that it's loosely held. The sterilizable covering caps of the SDI and the knurled screw also go on their designated mounts. Now all sterilizable biome components are ready for automated mechanical cleaning in the washer.